Okay, Chad, we're going to start with you on the next question. If elected, do you plan to utilize no-not warrants? And please explain why, whether your answer is yes or no. No. No-not warrants. We've seen it get us into trouble in Atlanta. We've seen it get us into trouble up here. Uh, a no-not warrant, and, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna get into certain situations by no means. I've been on a couple of them myself. They could have went bad. But reverting to from a no-knock warrant um, to where it can go bad, there's other means that you can go in there safely for both the agency and the home occupant. Um, and I know I said no pretty quick, but guys, I'm going to tell you, it don't take long for that to go bad, and it don't take long for the finger to get pointed at you. And that's something that... Just to be honest with you, why can you not take a battering ram, swap over it, knock the door in, you're just pushing the door aside and walking on in? So no. Okay. Tanya? Sir. No. I, the way the world is today, you put too many people at stake. You have no idea sometimes who's in those house. You have your officers that want to go home. You have people at home wanting your families to come home. There's too many people today have guns. You never know what's waiting on the other side of that door. Is something I believe you can sit and wait out. You can other, use other resources to do. Like Chad, I've been on no-knock warrants. They're scary. They are because you don't know exactly what's going to be waiting. You don't know if you're going to go home that night. All kind of things go through your head. Like I say, there's too many innocent people out that are unfortunately involved in some of these things. People bring them in, bring, bring it in their home. Some parents don't even know. Some children don't know. So, no, I believe there's other ways. There's safer ways to do it without putting everybody at risk. Okay, Joy. You know, um, sitting here thinking about this question, you think about the things that's happened to us. Think about where we've been, what we've been through. Not only as a department, but as a county. Do we ever want anything like to have that to happen again? No. But can I sit here and tell you that we will never, ever use a no-knock warrant again? I don't know that I can do that. But is the process different on how you do it? Absolutely. Do you look at things a whole lot tighter when you do it? Absolutely. We don't take the violation of people's constitutional rights lightly. That's what we do every day. We're constitutional officers. That's what we do. We don't take that lightly whatsoever. But do we go ask for no-knock search warrants anymore? No, we don't do that anymore. But I can't honestly tell you that we will never, ever ask for one. I can't sit here and tell you that, that we will ever do that. I'm not going to lie to you.